Okay, so uh, everything's uh, still apart, uh, which you'll never have to do. The supply lines aren't tied in, but the flush valves are. So uh, we're going to get into these new supply lines and get them hooked up to the bottom where they go and get the relief line run out. But the part that you need to know is the blue blue hose goes to the blue side. You can see there's two valves back there and a uh, little black cap right there. So blue goes to blue, red goes to red. These valves are going to be in the off position, and you can see, hopefully on them, uh, there should be, it'll say off and on, but basically it's perpendicular, so if the valve is uh, at a 90 degree uh, from here, then this is off, which means no water can come out of the unit, no water can go into the unit. Uh, and then go ahead and turn these on real quick. These valves are going to go on. So you got the hot side, you're just going to you see where it says on. So you're going to spin it forward. Same thing on the blue side. And if you want, you can get a little uh, ratchet and a socket to fit that. Make it a little easier and just quarter turn on. So now these are on. So what it's doing is it's opening the valve. Uh, so that it's going to pull vinegar from the pump. It's going to go into the unit going to go back and forth in the heat exchanger and it's going to come out the hot side and the hot side is going to dump right back into the bucket um, this is a submersible pump we're going to send you a link to that uh, from Amazon they're about $60 and of course these are braided stainless steel uh, washing machine hoses you want the uh, braided stainless steel you don't want the cheap ones that have like brass here uh, or a chrome a brass plated chrome because they'll corrode from the from the vinegar uh, they're about $25 for these. And then any five-gallon bucket that's clean, uh, Home Depot, Lowe's, wherever. And um, and then three gallons of distilled white vinegar. Uh, Walmart's got them for like three fifty. dollars You go to Vons, you'll, you'll pay $7. But, uh, anyway, so three gallons. Um, submersible pump. And again, the hoses comes from the top of the pump. The cold, the blue one, goes up because it's, it's going to pull it into the unit. And then the hot's going to spit back out. Uh, so you are ready to go. Just you got a receptacle right here, so that's good. Just go ahead and plug it in. And this is going to spit that water right back in. So right now it's pulling it out of the bucket. And you can see. And that's the flow you want right there. Nice steady stream. And uh, and now your your big challenge in this whole process is what to do with the next hour of your life so you're just gonna let it sit just like this like I say we're gonna get this all tied back together um, which means we're gonna have a new supply line coming from here to the cold that's the cold water feed a new something this will shorten this up um, going up to the hot so it'll all be tied in but again that document it's super easy when we get done we'll show you how to shut these down uh, how to flush all the vinegar out and then of course how to get these turned back on with fresh water coming from the home and uh, we'll take a, another video and combine the two or send you two videos either way. But for right now, i got about an hour wait and uh, we'll take another video when we're done. Okay, so 45 minutes to an hour, you're going to just unplug the pump from right here. We've already done that, but you're going to unplug the pump. And uh, everything as uh, on this side is, is the same way it was. The cold, cold line is still attached, hot line is still attached. So what we want to do first is uh, you're going to unscrew this right here and clean out the filter. It's this guy right there. So just unscrew it to the left, pull it out. There's a screen in there. Clean it out, put it back in. We've already done that. So that'll get cleaned first. And then what you want to do on the cold side is you can go ahead and uh, um, close this valve because we're going to, uh, we're done with the flushing. So this cold valve right here, you know, just go ahead and shut it back off. Same thing with the hot. Go ahead and take this cold off right here. And then you can disconnect your hoses. I just need that out of the way. We're going to close the hot as well. Close the hot. Okay, so that's the first thing you do. Close the cold, the hot, take the hoses off, and then put those caps on. Those are just a courtesy, it's a courtesy cap is all, it's no big deal. So right now, um, the water's still off to the unit, so we're going to turn the main water line back on, which is right here, and that sends it up to this valve. So all we've got to do now is to get the water to the home, is we're going to turn the cold water on. 
And then we're gonna turn the hot water on. And that sends it into the home. Uh, we're not going to plug it in. We're not going to do anything with that yet. We'll fire it up in just a minute. We'll take another video with that. What we want to do first, we have one more thing to get tied in for you, which is your re uh, relief line valve, that, uh, the relief line that comes down right here. Um, actually, yeah, let's go ahead and fire it up. So turn the gas on. So in reverse, now you're going to turn that gas back on, and then you're going to plug this unit back in. And the way I like to test it out here is to activate the relief valve, which is this. Just pull on that. And what's going to happen is this unit's going to fire up. Oh, it was on. So, no hot water yet. There you go. Okay. Now, the burner finally came on. And uh, see, you've got hot water. Super hot. I don't know how hot that is, but that's super hot. And so that's it. Now everything's back on, uh, and you leave it like that. So every uh, year, you're going to come out, uh, same thing, you're going to shut the unit down, which means, you know, hot water goes off, cold water goes off, and then you're going to open cold and hot, and then you're going to put your hoses on, and we showed you the rest of the video. Cold blue goes to the pump, top of the pump, and then the hot uh, red hose goes back down, and uh, and then you just plug it in, let it run for an hour. Um, make sure you clean that filter out. If that filter gets bad, I mean really bad, to where you think you need to replace it, you can just pull that out and get put a new one in there as opposed to cleaning it. Um, but it's working now. We'll get your relief line in. And um, any questions, give us a holler with that. It wasn't as great a video as I thought it would be, but uh, at least it's your valve kit on your home so it'll look familiar uh, when you get ready to do this. Outside of that, this installation is done.